Hi guys and welcome back, my name is Chris, this is Robotics Gaming with Code Vein on PlayStation 4 Solo. Um, so I'm just going to carry on from where we left off in the last video, which is just, just doing like a clear up for the next area. Um, so, we just killed that boss, something, something, something executioner, can't remember the first name, you can see the title in the, one of the previous videos. Um, so yeah, uh, a, a few new quests popped up and we're just doing those. They're kind of like just mini, like, uh, like mini quests. They don't really hold too great a reward, but yeah, we get a little bit of haze um, and just a few extra items from doing them. So um, yeah, we're just doing those. So there's a guy over there we're going to travel to, do what he needs help with. Um, and kill some stuff along the way. If we can. This is what we didn't want to happen. This is where we have like two, two enemies come at us at once. We can handle this. I think. Ah, that's fine. I think there's a there's a third one around here as well. There's definitely one straight ahead. Get a nice easy shot on him. Follow up with some attacks. Um, I think there might be another two around this corner as well. I'm just gonna have a little uh, buff up the weapon a bit uh, and get rid of some melee action. I'm not doing too much damage either. Probably get out of this situation. Oh man. If we did make it, we're kind of running out of energy. Um. Oh, Alright. Run! Run! Run, run, run. Following us all the way. Alright, let's not follow this. <laughs> Gotta run back and recover. Um, okay. Go back. You're doing this. Um, Alright, we want to head back for where we came from so we don't run aggro or anything else. <clears throat> yeah, that was a bit uh, cowardly, but it's probably best to do that. Just need to try and get one. There we go. One on one. Get this guy down. Oh, get hit. Probably go a bit. Yeah, go around the back and get some. Uh, get a back attack on him. <coughs> Um, so I think that's all the enemies um, down to get where we need to go. We just got this guy up here. What gives? Richard. He's lost his sleeping bag. I remember trying to get here, but what was over there? No, no, I just came from that way so... Wait, wait. Which, Which way did, did it come, come from? Oh, oh boy. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna have, have to sleep, sleep on the ground tonight, aren't I? We need that thing to get... Richard. Um, so this quest doesn't seem to be that far from this location. 
It is, in fact, just up that hill. Nice. And it doesn't look like there's anything else. Oh my god, look at all them footprints at the top. We've been there a lot trying to kill our boss. So glad it's over with. That was a tough one. in there actually. Another shard. Where did we stop? The lost are infesting everywhere, and everything is going wild. And the lost are all berserk, and I have little brothers, and I need to find. Hmm. Everybody. Um. Right. I, I am going to kind of find my way back there because I want to activate this elevator. Okay. So as soon as you complete the class quest, their uh, dialogue box above the head disappears. Um. Let's pull one of these guys out. No, Moloch, I'm probably getting them both together. But they stagger pretty easily, though. That's, that should be all of them on this little path. So we're just going to head back to the guy over here, like recall that elevator, go up, hand in that quest, and then take on the last, uh, help the last guy out.
Um, so I'll do a lot of these just little added features to the game and kind of give you a bit of a reason to go back to previously explored areas. Um, you know, check out optional character storylines. Left the shelter? Yeah, yeah the government, government protective shelter and started, and started having, having a serious, serious blood, blood beach. Beach. So, so we hiked, hiked out here to look, look for blood beasts. Beast. Dangerous, Dangerous places, places like this where service, service doesn't have the lost. No, no. I'm, I'm not, not turning, turning back. back. Not, not until, until I have, have some blood beasts. Oh. I can't just sit back and twin I've got a family back home. Yeah, I've got a wife. Okay, Daryl sorted with. Um, right, let's run down this way. I don't think there's. Oh, I lost my map. Where's my map gone? Um, see, so I just like going back in the parking lot. So, I don't know how this is gonna work. If we just go back this way. Hopefully we can get all the ladders before we get attacked. Yep. Cool. Cool beans. This way. <clears throat> Back down here. Don't run off the edge. And don't get hit. Ignore that big one for now. We have another big one to deal with. Yeah. Back attack. It's on a thin ledge, you can easily just knock us off. So. Especially with that skill. Um, okay. out of the way there. Well, over 
heal. But I can't see what that other guy is either, so. I just don't want to be knocked off this ledge. Maybe we can take out this guy. Oh, come on. That was a parry. Right, it definitely should have been a parry. Um, yeah. I kind of do want some air. Uh, Haze for this next uh, enemy. Uh, kind of need some health as well, which I'm not going to get. Okay. Should have just teleported to this location. I don't know why I've like gone the hard way, but we have. No worries at all. We're not going to run back there though, we're going to just teleport to the other place, which we should have done in the first, uh, first instance. Um, yeah, back where it ends. Oh god, silly me. Eventually. Um, nice. Um, so we can heal up. Uh, head this way. through here. I kind of, I'm just like wondering what's going to be easiest, just to teleport or just run. Uh, let's go on elevator. Probably might have been easier to teleport.
wait for this mist to clear. It definitely won't have been easy to teleport. Since we've got an elevator and a corridor to go through. Yeah, what the f huh. oh, crap. oh my god, so it's probably <laughs> So just, I'm just gonna teleport there. Hopefully my haze is gonna be um right where we fell off. Oh man, amateur mistake. What the hell man? Come on, load in times. I really need to get a PS4 Pro. Just to help with these load in times, because just like fall asleep doing all this. Okay, so let's just teleport. Which we probably should have done from the start again. Uh, so most of this video is probably just going to be loading screens. Apologize. Apologies for that. I got my haze back. Where the hell is my haze? Is it just through here? Is Hopefully that doesn't trigger. Loading screen. I want evidence that Silva's policies are a mistake. If you find anything, please let me know. I see. You've found what I wanted. Silva's rule figures only a handful. Every other remnant is forced to live in fear of thirst and the lost. No, even the favored remnants who live in safety are exploited and need to pay for the system set up to give Silva exclusive control over all the blood beads. We have to escape. If we don't have to pay less, we remnants can unite and live together without fear. I want evidence that Silva's policies are a mistake. Is that one still open? Um, so I wonder if there's other locations where he has... Where he can collect them from. If we go back to... I oh know I'm just going to be back and forth in this, but if we teleport to... I'm going to go to this place, out of Crossroads. Because uh, there's a guy here who I think still has a exclamation mark above his head. Um, I, can't, I think his quest was he gave us a map to go through the... Uh, to go through those like lost uh, dungeon dungeons. I don't, have, don't know if we spoke to him after that. Let's, let's have a little look. Greetings. I have a lovely, lovely selection. selection. Hey, did you, did you drag, drag those materials out of depths? They're, They're quite, quite valuable. valuable. I, don't I don't know if it's proper things, but I'll, I'll have, have a wider selection. selection. Okay. Greetings. I, if you have, have any materials from the old world, I can give you valuables in exchange. Um, so we got more of this stuff. I think if we have some of this... Protein powder. Or this. Or this. Don't hesitate to come back if you need anything. Um, okay, I'll just check the map. Uh, it doesn't show on there that there's any of our items in this area. Maybe there just isn't. Uh, in these locations. 
Okay, let's head back to the parking lot. Uh, finish up this little side quest and then move on to the next area. Alright, right, brilliant. Yep, so let's just go down. Look like there's any other uh, pathways in this area, so we're just going to teleport <laughs> to the last area. Uh, park ruins. Yeah, so this is where we need to be to move on to the next section. Um, this might take some people a while to find as well, but the park statue in this area, the ruined park, and if you drop down those uh, that ladder there, down here, and there's a statue. Okay, so this is where the springs have culminated to this um, to this direction. Let's just follow another loading green pathway. It's always good to check these areas as well. Just make sure you check in blind spots. Maybe some little secret secret nooks. You might be overlooking. Um, oh, there's another quest piece, there's a quest item over here as well. Um, Uh, so like here you would be yeah you normally just run straight ahead straight to the side there's a little uh back way we've got map flood of impunity and plasma cartridge okay and now we have an Orlando. 
Cathedral of the Sacred Blood. Okay, so let's head down here. Okay, nice. Uh, so we're not going to do this area just yet. Actually, let's see where the... Got oh, a lion there. I'm actually going to go into this area. Hopefully this thing isn't too far in this level. They're going to take a lot of damage. These guys are proper annoying. Oh, they got boobies. Seventy-one haze from one kill. Um, did they even make it to that? Is it getting further and further away? Actually, pop that off. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get to that quest item. Um, probably not from up here. So no. Okay, uh, so we're gonna leave this area for a bit. Um, see what our new blood code is. Uh, go check out IO, see if there's any more progression in that area. And then hopefully get some upgrades before we come back uh, to this location. Yeah, because we need, we need to get good with those guys. They, uh, they're not going down easy, that's for sure. <clears throat> Go back to home base. Loading screens. <clears throat> um, yeah, so let's check out our new look. Have we? Did we get a uh, Fion Vestige? I don't know. We might have to. Mears. So we had Mears before. A uh, gift extension temporarily lengthens, lengthens the effect of gifts used by you uh, and your partner. Lightning spike. Very good. But no, maybe we have to go down here first. Okay. Artemis, Mia, Anstein, who just high stamina and attack type gifts, but suffers from low endurance. Okay, so I thought I had hers already. 
Um, receive items. What does she have? Uh, so she's got her Brodia. Um, the bayonet mirror always kept close to at hand. It has been it has been lightened and customized so that even if small framed owner could use it freely. The dents and scratches across its surface tell the story of how it has protected two important lives. It was given the name of a flower as a sign of thanks. Um, I just also got some uh, other items. Nice. Let me know if you need me. Where's yeah, Yakom, uh, Jacob, what his name is, Yakome. I don't want to set though. Let's get up. Hey, hey, what's, what's up? up? Akumo. There we go. Um, let's give him some some of this. Oh, oh, oh are, are you, you serious? serious? Let's, let's celebrate, celebrate tonight. tonight. I'll, I'll have, have to make sure, sure not to piss, piss Louie off, off by drinking, drinking too, too much, much again. again. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, what else did I want? Let's give him some protein powder. Thanks. I can, I can use, use this. this. Thanks. I can. Whoa! Let's, let's celebrate, celebrate tonight. Thanks. Okay. We need fifty points for that. The Oni Bane. Uh, Yakumo's. Icor blend, a drug made from Ikumo's blood mix of lost Icor used to in uh, using it increases the maximum amount of Icor that can be held. Absorbing human like blood activates bore parasites, allowing them to hold more Icor for a limited time. Uh, but there is a risk of frenzy from overstimulation, so there is a limit to the dose that can be taken. And that's just going to be the same. And there's these Alice Chrome. They're different prices for one and two, so it's not permanent, it's temporary. See you around. We don't, we don't know, know why, however, however this, this is, is only a hypothesis, hypothesis that your blood, blood might be related to the Queen somehow. somehow. Uh, what's this guy gonna give me? Those are car blended. Zoom in. Um, this is the same thing. Uh, a drug made from Louis blood mixed with lost Icor using it increases the maximum amount of Icor that can be held. Uh, enduring Crimson. Uh, that looks like it's gonna be a dex weapon. Louis' trusty sidearm. Its red blade is engraved with a spell like gift and. When fueled with Icar, can cut through the toughest defences with a single stroke. It was received from the same revenant that gave Yukumo his own weapon and was built by dedicated hands with Louis's technique in mind. Okay. Head out. Thanks for that. We've got some new items and stuff. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. What is it? Artemis, Artemis, uh, one and two. Got some Mia's, and then um, Hermes, uh, part two and three. And let's just quickly have a look at this, uh, the new, see that is, that's Mia, Bernstein, there's also Mia, Artemis, and Astrea, uh, one out of ten, focus gift speed, increases the speed of your gifts while you are focused, um, 
quite a barrage of homing bullets, an offensive skill performed with a, with bayonet. Um, Shockweb ma manipulates our core to create a low power trap of air at your feet that staggers any assailants. Ice armor temporarily creates a barrier around you and your partner that boosts ice resistance. Uh, dexterity willpower increases. Yeah, exactly what it says. Uh, blood sucking blades temporarily increases the drain rating of weapon attacks for you and your partner. Freezing raw fires a projectile of freezing ice at the target. Um, this is dark gifts as well, so that might be nice to have. Uh, Guard Vonna generates a number of ice pillars that unrelentingly bombard the target. Bayonet Mastery increases the attack power when equipped with a bayonet. And Blood Grab, dodging enemy attacks drains that eye core according to your weapon's drain rating. Um, that could be pretty nice. Having those two, that's going to be fast uh, dodges and eye core when dodging. Very nice indeed. Okay. So we're going to leave this video here. Um, we're probably just going to do them lost maps uh, for the next few videos. Uh, just kind of like take on them bosses while they're still um, sort of fresh in my head. And then we'll go and take on the new area. So hopefully see you guys again in the next video. Take care.